Good morning, I'm Brad Emberhart. I visit waters all over the world and today I happen to be visiting a place I camped in Boy Scouts. Um, it's in rural North Carolina, close to my mama's house. It's a selfie, you know, I have a little bit of judgment about selfies, people holding up a camera in front of our face. It symbolizes we're alone, right? Nobody's there to hold the camera for us. And yet these alone moments are so precious. I mean, we're never alone. I go to rivers like this to pray. Uh, I talk to the water. I say, guide me please, help me to know the way. Um, the divine God is, is in the waters, just like it's, the divine is in this blood. Everything is alive and orchestrated by infinite cosmic magic. <laughs> There's so much perfection, that's why I come to nature. So many people do. Some of us even come to faraway places like this unconsciously. We think we're there to cruise in the forest, exercise our primal instinct. On Fire Island, the beaches of Provincetown, the tip of the San Francisco Peninsula, and yet at a deep level, there's a little, sp I'm, there's a little fairy spirit in us. Face it, face it. There really is. I just got out of the water. Some people say the water's not the cleanest. Uh, well, neither is this body. You know, this this water's a mirror for this body. I pray for all of us, all of us and the water. I must say I have never contracted an illness from being in the water all over the world, um, but I always go in and I always say thank you before I go under. It's similar in bed. Um, I've been in bed with a lot of ecstatic, joyful partners. and. Uh, I think the key is ecstatic and joyful. I contracted uh, warts from a partner when I first started having sex. I was uh, it's like 24 years old and um, I was afraid, I was afraid someone might drug me while I was in bed with them and give me HIV. I mean, I had crazy paranoia, so much fear. So I started doing yoga. Um, I looked up warts in the prescription for nutritional healing. I um, took vitamin A, I put vitamin E up my butt. That's where the warts were. I. Um, improve my nutritional quality, I improve my quality of life. Um, I went to a clinic, they treated the warts with uh, acetic acid, which I think is vinegar. <laughs> they had to tell me they were doing something for them, right? They treated them every week for about six weeks. I stayed in San Francisco. Uh, my reward was I went to San Francisco because I lived in Alaska and I, I went there to be treated for free and I wound up having this ecstatic experience of awakening in my life met all kinds of men, had all kinds of fun. The warts went away. They never came back. I never had another sexually transmitted infection. That was 20 years ago. And I confess, thousands of sexual experiences ago. Who would have known sitting by a river close to where I grew up would bring out such stories? <clears throat> I realize these stories, sometimes selfies, sometimes in not so great lighting. They're not made for production quality video, but they are made to tell a story, and I, I'm really honored to have shared this today. If I had someone to hold this camera, you would see me getting in the water right now. Uh, but that's for the next video when I camp with my friends by lake. I hope you've enjoyed this true confession of Tantra by the river. The birds sing so beautifully this time of the year. Everything's so alive. 
may we bring it into our hearts and remember it even on the coldest winter days. Mm. I camped by this river when I was in Boy Scouts. Oh my God, at least 35 years ago. Now they made a park. We can come here and visit without trespassing. I'm so thankful to the older ones who had the foresight to do that. Blessed be.